This is the story of Facebook. Most people know Facebook as just a social media company where people go for like chatting and have fun. But Facebook is, uh, is investing a lot in internet and other uh, mega project in the world. So Facebook is investing right now in uh, internet. Uh, they're going to bring uh, internet to the whole continent. And it says that uh, one out of four of African are not connected to the internet, which is not a good news. Because uh, nowadays, internet is a center of all the project. Everything we're doing, it's on internet. Welcome, welcome. So, there is still a lot to do. One out of four Africans are not connected to the internet. That means 3.5 billion people globally are connected. As you all know, uh, there is 8 billion people in the world. So 3.5 billion people are not connected to the internet, which means they are missing a lot going on. They don't get a job they want, they need, they don't get a news they need, they don't know what's going on, or whatever. They just they they are just get the local news, the local jobs, the local information. They not they don't have access to what's going on uh, on the other side of the world, which is not pretty good in 2024. So there is still a lot to do. Africa is currently uh, the least connected continent. Oh my goodness. So Africa is the least, the least. Those 3.5 billion, they are mostly on African continent. So good news, Facebook and other uh, major companies are going to change it. So with just over a quarter of 1.3, it's 1.3 billion people connected to the internet as part of the commitment of these companies, which is Facebook comes first. They're proud to announce that um, they're going to start a, a, a project that's called To Africa. The most comprehensive subsea cable to save the African continent and Middle East region. It's going to go from uh, Europe, Africa, and Middle East back to uh, back to Europe. It's going to be a transformation cable, and it's going to be one of the largest uh, subsea cable project in the world. Wow! And it will interconnect twenty three countries in Africa, the Middle East and Europe, 23 countries. So some other countries will be able to connect to those countries that's already, that will be already connected uh, on this fiber optic. So at 37,000 kilometers long, to Africa will be uh, near, nearly equal to the circumference of the earth. Wow, the circumference of the earth. <clears throat> so the project is impressive for more than a length around. It's going to be too long. It's going to be around Africa from the, the, the top, the Indian Sea, Baram, Atlantic Sea, and go back to Europe. <clears throat> it will provide near, uh, nearly three times the total network capacity of all the subsea cable serving Africa today. When completed, this new road will deliver much needed internet capacity, redundancy, and reliability across Africa. Supplement a rapidly increasing demand for capacity in the Middle East and support further growth of 4G, 5G, and broadband access for hundreds of millions of people. As you know, and uh, some people are still using maybe all those uh, old systems, but uh, that people already passed 4G, they are on 5G for like in the US right now. So this is going to, to help hundreds of million people 
to get connected. Now just for, for chatting, but for uh, searching for jobs, information, or study, hospitals, and all the stuff. So it's, it will expand, it will expand uh, capacity. Uh, no, the, ex the expanded capacity will facilitate a health internet for the hospitals uh, ecosystem by enabling uh, greatly improved accessibility for people and businesses uh, alike. So they have been uh, the first 10 positive impact that increased connectivity uh, when uh, the community from education to healthcare, uh, they also understand that the economy flourish when there is widely accessibility to the internet for businesses. That's why they came up with this plan because they know the world won't be able to go further if Africa has no internet because Africa has too much resources right now. That's the world they need. So they need to have this type of uh, uh, communication. They need to have this type of uh, uh, investment taking place to the continent because that's where the next move is going to be. So, <clears throat> so the uh, the the project was built on partnership with uh, other uh, Facebook with other uh, internet society to develop internet exchange, and provide technical training, support, and equipment in Africa because it was too big for just uh, one company. So the to Africa will be uh, an important peer supporting tremendous internet expansion as part of Africa's growth digital economy. We're going, we're moving to digital in any aspect. As you know, uh, the cryptocurrency and all these uh, 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 medical equipment, medical systems, and all these, uh, as you know, all the central banks are going to digital money. So it's going to help to, tran to translate to digital uh, systems. That was pretty good. I really appreciate the, the initiative on Facebook. And Another uh, very important feature of the two Africa cable is that it was designed uh, with resilience in mind to obtain optimal performance. The cable design itself to provide an increase of 50% in, in barrier death. These are most technical terms that we probably don't know, most of us don't understand. But whatever we should understand is the two Africa is a continuation of the ongoing effort to expand global network infrastructure. So they, uh, nowadays, it's not like uh, back in days when everyone was, was, was taking care of himself. The world have to move together. Military, uh, uh, health systems, or you all remember when COVID-19 uh, happened, the whole world had to work together to, take, to be able to handle uh, COVID-19. So th there is benefit to everyone from Europe, from Africa, from the United States. There's benefit to everyone because uh, the world has to be to work together uh, to handle some of the health issues, uh, some of uh, the natural disaster issues, and also some of the terrorism uh, uh, issues. The world has to move together. So it is going to be a game changer and Africa is going to profit this type of investment. Thank you very much. That was it. And I'm so happy to see this happening to the continent because Africa will have access to the rest of the world when it comes to jobs, uh, healthcare. Uh, healthcare will be, will be able to get improved. Hosp hospitals will be able to get improved. Doctors will be able to do the job easily. Or people we have access, maybe banks also we have access to uh, this new uh, technology, uh, this new uh, platform that trade uh, 
like uh, stock markets, uh, crypto, gold, other stuff. Because most of the company, the banks in Africa have no access. They not allowed to the customer to do this type of most of this uh, trading because number one issue is the internet. Not is the internet. So hopefully the economy is going to boom to the continent, and that's what we pray for, and we hope it's going to happen. Thank you very much, and for those who followed us. Please like and subscribe. Uh, we we'll appreciate that. And I hope I will see you uh, next week. Thank you.